in the next, but we figured out a way to do it. Uh, it's a it's a really good win. Um, anytime you play a team uh, in consecutive games and teams have a chance to adjust, um, feels a little bit like a playoff series. And um, you know they made a few adjustments. Uh, we made a couple. And I thought for you know obviously for three quarters uh, we did a lot well, but the fourth quarter uh, it's going to be hard to watch. Um, I told them after the game one of the things I've complimented them on. You know, for those of you who talked to us. During preseason, one of our goals was to be a better rebounding team, and we've been consistent about that since the start of the season. Uh, I don't even look at numbers; I look at offensive and defensive rebound percentage. And right now, we're leading the league. And uh, if you had told me that a year ago at this time, I'd have shook my head because we were near the bottom. And you know, holding them to three offensive rebounds uh, is a really good night. But the defensive end in the fourth quarter will be something we have to fix. All right, questions. Yeah, no. Which is he fixed it. He did find a way to win the game. Yeah, we did. I mean, that's what I told him. Every win's a great win. Um, there are no easy wins in this in this league. Uh, everybody's competitively good. Um, and on any night right now, you know, teams get hot. I mean, they have they have scores. I mean, getting you know uh, Quigley and uh, Vandersloot back this week has helped them immensely. Uh, and they're going to be a team that's going to win some games. Um, they're hard to play against because they have scores and. Um, you know, we're, we're going to see him again in about a month. We'll have to, you know, kind of remind ourselves about a few of the things that happened here. Coach, do you think it was some of their adjustments again, playing Bain um, so close together, that might have led to Elena's slow shooting start? Um, maybe. I, I mean, I, I didn't, you know, really think of it in, in those terms. It was more they just focused on double teaming her when she got it down low and make her be a passer. Uh, you know, she's going to see that fair enough nights. I thought Tiana Hawkins took some pressure off her in the first half coming in and making some shots. Our guards made shots uh, early. Um, you know, we shot uh, the ball reasonably well f for most of the game until, you know, late in the game. And uh, she's going to see defense. Like it's, not, it's not something that's, you know, new to her. And, and, and despite all that, she comes out and gets 20. So, um, and, you know, she's really not getting to the line much yet. Um, but, you know, I, I'm okay with where she is right now with that. The yeah. first game without Emma, what did you think about how Crystal did? And, um, She's such a good defensive presence. Uh, our rebounding's good, um, you know, with her. And Tiana has been so good that, you know, you can rotate those people a little bit, you know, minute-wise. And, you know, you get some pretty good production. I, mean, I thought they, for the most part, played pretty well. Uh, this is the first game we've really played Asia very many minutes, uh, taking some of Emma's minutes. And she was a little wound up uh, tonight, so I think you know it was good to get that out of her system a little bit. But I thought, you know, the, the one thing that has helped us is that we didn't have Emma for much of training camp. So this group played together a lot like we did tonight in training camp, our two exhibition games they played like this. So uh, that rotation was actually easier. It was harder almost the first couple games trying to get Emma back in without any practice. Uh, which will be a problem when she comes back in a month. Hopefully we're rolling enough that we can, you know, sustain it uh, until she gets here. All right, Miss Slack on the Good.